there are plenty of Jackson County voters outside the city. So we went east. Fox Wars' Jacob Kittlestad joins us live from Raytown. He's been circling back after a round trip of other cities in the county. Jake, a busy day for voters even beyond where you're standing. Yeah, that's right. And in talking to these people, a lot of them are leaning on their fan allegiances to the Royals or the Chiefs, while others are still wrestling with that idea of bringing baseball downtown. So it is a divisive issue even on the farthest borders of Jackson County. It all flows downhill at the spillway off Lake Giacomo with roads leading to Lake Latawana and their precinct at this Methodist church. Well, I was all for the Royals and the Chiefs staying in Kansas City mm -hmm. as long as they can. The question here, it's the same as ballots 40 plus minutes away. My phone has been um, bombarded actually with unsolicited, I, I don't know how but or why other than a party affiliation uh, with texts that, uh, you know, vote this way and vote that way and that Andy Reid voted today. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, I'm happy to know that he voted, mm -hmm. but I, I don't really appreciate that part of it. It just seems like a bad way to mm. congest downtown. So your name is Casey Wolf? Yes. How do you feel about that? Um, I love it. I get a lot of uh, double takes like, is that really your name? At this precinct in Lone Jack, this couple says they don't want to risk change, focused on football. I guess part of my decision was it's easy for us to get to from here instead of like wherever they're gonna go elsewhere. They were like, oh, you got you gonna vote tomorrow? I was like, oh yeah. And she mm -hmm. goes, you don't want it to go to Kansas City or Kansas, do you? And I'm like, no, I, I don't. <laughs> but baseball and those proposed changes remain contentious in Jackson County's outfield. Not that it doesn't sit right, it's just something I don't wanna deal with. I like it where it's at and I like the, I hardly ever go. And in talking to poll workers out there uh, farther out east, they said it's been a pretty steady stream, maybe slightly busier than during a normal election, not involving a president or a governor. And as we all know, John and Lauren, still about an hour left until the polls close. It'll be interesting to see the difference between city votes and suburban votes. Jacob Kittlestad live in the suburbs tonight, as we mentioned a few minutes ago. Besides question one in Jackson County, there are a number of other issues and local races on Missouri ballots in the area. Fox for your local election headquarters will have live results on air and online. Fox4KC.com slash election.